Welcome back to Education One Day. This is the third video in our four-part SSLC Science series, where we go through previous year questions with answers. In this video, we will focus on two marks questions, which are crucial for scoring well. Now, let's get started with two mark questions. Physics two marks questions with answers. First question here: What is spectrum of white light? Name any two phenomena that occurs in the atmosphere due to the refraction of light. Answer: The band of colored components of a light beam formed by the splitting of light through glass prism is called spectrum of light. Phenomenon that occurs due to the refraction of light, twinkling of stars, advanced sunrise and delayed sunset, rainbow formation. Optional question is: What is cataract of eye? What is the near point and far point of the human eye with normal vision? And answer is the crystalline. Lens of people at old age becomes milky and cloudy. This condition is called cataract. The near point is twenty-five centimeter and the far point is infinity. Now, next question: A person who has a defect of eye, as shown in the below figure, purchases a spectacle having lens of minus two point zero d power. Is this lens suitable to rectify the eye defect of that person? Analyze. they are talking about this eye diagram and answer is this lens is not suitable for that person's defect of eye light rays from close by objects are focused at a point behind the retina therefore it is far sightedness and it is corrected by using a convex lens of appropriate power in spectacle lens of minus 2.0d power is a concave lens and that does not rectify this defect next question state two laws of reflection of light answer The angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection, and the incident ray, the normal to the mirror at the point of incidence, and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane. Next, give reason. A. The tungsten is used in filaments of electric lamp. B. In domestic circuits, the electric devices are not connected in series. For A, the melting point and resistivity of tungsten are very high. It does not melt readily at a high temperature. The electric lamps glow at very high temperature, and hence, tungsten is mainly used as heating element of electric bulbs. And as for B, in domestic electric circuits, the different electric components need widely different electric current values to operate properly. When one component fails, the circuit is broken, and none of the components works. Therefore, the series arrangement is not used for domestic electric circuits. There is also an optional question: Placing a fuse in electric circuits is essential. Why? Explain. Fuse is a safety device which protects electric circuits and electric appliances by stopping the flow of any unduly high electric current. It is a piece of wire made of metal or an alloy of appropriate melting point, placed in series with the device. If current larger than the specific value flows, the temperature of fuse wire increases. This melts the fuse wire and breaks the circuit. Thus, placing of fuse is must in electric circuits. Let's go to next question. Observe the following electric circuit. And the question is: When a wire of resistance R ohm is connected between x and y, then ammeter reading is 3A. If R Ohm resistance is replaced by 2 R ohm in the same circuit. What would be the reading in ammeter? Give scientific reason for your answer. Answer: If R is R ohm and I is equal to 3 ampere, so Ohm's law formula is V is equal to IR, and when you substitute V is 3 R. Now, if R is replaced by 2 R ohm, we need to find I, and the as we have got we have got before. V is equal to three R. V is equal to I R, and then if we bring R downwards, then V by R is equal to I, which is here. And when we substitute, we will get answer one point five ampere. The ammeter reading is one point five ampere. Reason: if the resistance is doubled, the current gets half. You need to know this because it can also come in one marks as MCQs. Next question: Observe the given figures and answer the questions that follow. 
observe the figure here current is passing in the first figure current is passing in downward direction and in B, figure B this is the direction next let's go to question which of the above figure shows the correct direction of the magnetic field and name and state the rule that help it to choose the correct figure answer figure B shows the correct direction of magnetic field this figure next right hand thumb rule helps to choose the correct figure statement is holding a current carrying straight conductor in the right hand such that the thumb indicates the direction of current and the finger wrapping around the connector indicates the direction of field lines of magnetic field let's go to next question Draw the diagram of arrangement of apparatus to show that acidic solution in water conducts electricity and label dilute HCl solution. This is the diagram and this is dilute HCl solution they have labeled. Next, water alloys. Name any two alloys of copper. Alloys are homogeneous mixtures of two or more metals or metal and non-metals. Alloys of copper are bronze and brass. Optional question is what is amphoteric oxides? Give two examples. Metallic oxides that reacts with both acids as well as bases to produce salt and water are called amphoteric oxides. Aluminium oxide Al2O3 and zinc oxide ZNO are examples. Next, draw the diagram of arrangement of apparatus to show the action of steam on metal. This is the answer arrangement of apparatus showing the action of steam on metal. I think you all are familiar with this diagram. Let's go to next question. Draw the diagram of arrangement of apparatus showing the reaction of zinc granules with dilute sulfuric acid and testing hydrogen gas by burning. Okay. Next question. Draw the diagram to show the arrangement of the apparatus used in refining of copper and label the anode mud. Observe the diagram. As you are familiar, I will go to next question. An iron nail is immersed in copper sulphate solution. Then what type of chemical reaction happens here? Write the balanced chemical equation for this reaction. Answer. Displacement reaction. Fe plus Cu SO4 gives FSO4 plus Cu. Optional question is balance the following equations CH4 plus O2 plus CO2 plus H2O and PbNO3 twice when heated gives PbO plus NO2 plus O2. Answer is for first CH4 plus 2O2 gives CO2 plus 2H2O and for second 2PbNO3 twice when heated it will gives 2PbO plus 4NO2 plus O2. Next question. Draw the diagram of the arrangement of apparatus showing the reaction of zinc granules with dilute sulfuric acid and testing of hydrogen gas by burning and label the hydrogen gas bubbles. I am assuming you are all familiar with the diagrams. So I am not going to explain anything. Let's go to next part. Biology. Two marks questions with answers. Draw the diagram showing the germination of pollen on stigma and label pollen tube. Here they have labeled pollen tube. Draw the diagram showing excretory system in human beings and label urinary bladder. Excretory system is shown here. These are kidneys. And here urinary bladder I have mentioned. Next question. How father is responsible to determine sex of a child in humans? Explain. In father, the sex chromosomes are odd pair called X and Y. But in mother, both chromosomes are in a perfect pair called XX. So if the child gets X chromosomes inherited by father, the sex of the child will be XX. If the child gets inherited by Y chromosome, the sex of the child will be male. Means X and Y. Hence, father determines the sex of a child in human beings. Okay, 
or means they have given another explanation here where parents father and mother see here x and y here xx which are mothers gametes xx means female child and xy means male child next question in an aquatic ecosystem the organisms such as fishes birds insects larva and diatoms are found construct a food chain using these organisms if 10 calories of energy is available to the tertiary consumers in this food chain what amount of energy was produced in the first trophic level answer food chain diatoms insect larva fishes birds those are what above given first diatoms means producers then primary consumers then secondary consumers then tertiary consumers so primary consumers means 10000 calories then 1000 calories then 100 calories then the consumer will get 10 calories like that organisms in the first trophic level that are that produced the energy was 10000 calories next question observe the given food chain and answer the following questions green plants t1 deer t2 tiger t3 what is the amount of energy do green plants have if the energy available to tiger is 700 kJ and next two is the organisms of which trophic level has maximum accumulation of harmful chemicals and why for first question the as we have discussed previously green plants are having the amount of energy 70000 kJ here law of 10% is applied and then as for second question t3 tiger tiger has maximum accumulation of harmful chemicals these chemicals are not degradable and get accumulated at each trophic level and hence the top level in any food chain the maximum concentration of these chemicals is accumulated that's it for today's video i hope these two marks questions and answers help you in your ssc science preparation don't forget to check out our next video where we will cover one marks questions multiple choice questions to complete this series thank you